Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given n people labeled from 1 to n and we are given an array that represents whether a person trusts some other person. And within those people, there can be a town judge based on some conditions. The first condition is that the judge does not trust any person. The second condition is that everybody in the town except the judge himself trusts the judge. And finally, it is given that there can be only one judge in this town. So based on these conditions, we have to find the town judge if there exists one or otherwise we can return minus one. Let's try to understand this with the help of this example where we have three people in the town. In this example, person three is the judge because all the people remaining in the town trust person three. But let's say if person one did not trust person three, since everybody in the town won't be trusting person 3, it cannot be the judge. On the other hand, if person 3 were to trust somebody else, even though everybody in the town trusts person 3, but since the judge cannot be allowed to trust somebody else, it cannot be the town judge. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's try to identify some properties of the town judge using this small example. Here person 3 is the town judge because everybody else in the town trusts it and person 3 does not trust anybody else. We also have some other trust relationships in the town. For example, person 1 trusts person 2 and person 2 trusts person 1. But this will not affect the selection of the town judge. If we carefully observe the town judge, we can see that it has zero outgoing edges. And since the remaining two people in the town trusts it, there are two incoming edges. Even if we add an extra member in the town, the number of outgoing edges will still be zero but the number of incoming edges will become 3. In general, if we have n people in the town, all the remaining n-1 people will trust the judge, so the number of incoming edges will be n-1. So if we consider person 3 as a vertex in this graph, using these two values, its degree will be n-1. We can check that even for a different arrangement in the graph, the degree of only the judge can be n-1. For example, person 1 has two outgoing edges, so its degree will be minus 2. Person 2 has two incoming edges and one outgoing edges, so its degree will be plus 1. And similarly, the degree of person 4 will be minus 2. So if we have a person with degree as n minus 1, that will be the town judge. Let's see what happens to the degree when the judge trusts somebody else in the town. In this case, the degree will reduce by 1. And since it will no longer be n minus 1, it cannot be the town judge anymore. So to solve this problem, we have to track the degree of each person in the town. And if the degree of any person will be n minus 1, he will be the town judge. We can use a hash map to count the degree of each person. The time complexity of this would be, we have to go through all the edges in the trust array to count the degree of each person. And after that, we'll have to check for each of these n people if anyone's degree is n minus 1. So it would be O of t plus n. And the space complexity would be O of n because we have to keep a hash map to count the degree of each person. Let's implement our solution. The first thing that we'll need is a hash map to track the degree of each person. So we'll initialize this hash map for each of the n people with their count as 0. Now we'll go through all the edges in the trust array. Here person A trusts person B. So there will be an outgoing edge from person A to person B. Hence we'll decrease the degree of person A by 1 and increase the degree of person B by 1. Now once we are done calculating the degree for each person, we'll go through all the entries in the hash map. And if we find a person with degree as n minus 1, that means that person is the town judge. So we'll return this person directly. And if after going through all the degrees, we still could not find a suitable judge, then in that case, we'll return minus 1. We are now done with our solution. Let's submit it. You can see that our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts, concerns or feedback regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.